There's some big baboons sitting around and there's one or two baboons chasing the impala. That's amazing. I might, may um, go to Happiness who's in the kitchen at the moment while um, Amanda's on leave and say, A breakfast por favor. <laughs> What's breakfast please? Look at that, that's a big male that, wow. Are you feeding on, I don't know what he's, it looks like he was feeding on a poison apple there, now I wonder. There's that little plant called the poison apple. It looks like it's what he may have had, I'm not sure. Now the baboons are able to feed on some toxic fruit. And um, that's why the, the golden rule in the bush is you can eat anything that you see a monkey eating. However, you cannot eat anything that a baboon eats because they do sometimes feed on, uh, on stuff that could potentially be toxic for us. Now, I don't know if that is what it was feeding on. It could may have also just picked up some bulbs under there in the grass. Um, I don't know what it's, what it's eating over there at the moment. Oh, that impala's got a limp. That's not good. That's interesting. Don't know how it would have got injured, maybe running or somehow hurt itself. It's been a nice morning, an exciting morning. Ali got to see the leopards, which she was very lucky to see. And um, we we were trying to find some uh, some wild dogs. Unfortunately, no luck. But that's the way it goes. Sometimes they ran through the property too quickly. Now, Nikki, you asked. Oh, look at that! <laughs> an impala jumping. <laughs> I don't know what startled it there. Now, Nikki, you asked, what is the fastest antelope on Juma? Now, on Juma, um, I, I would probably say it's the Impala. I think that's the fastest. And they are incredibly fast. Um, and I think that out of all the antelope we have here, they would probably be the, the, the quickest. Um, those little, the little Stenbock and Daco are quite quick too, but... Uh, but uh, all the size and now I think the impala are the, are the fastest and now but I think the fastest antelope we have in Africa I think it's actually the tesebi or the topi I, I think um, I think the tesebi is one of the fastest also I think if you see those Thompson's gazelle um, when they run up in East Africa incredibly fast the springbuck's very fast Springbok's very fast, but um, I think it's a Tesebi, if I'm not mistaken. I've read somewhere that they think that it might be um, the Tesebi that is the fastest. Now, we do get Tesebi in Kruger, but uh, we don't see them that often. And not down in this area. I keep these baboons at this stage are not a threat to the impala that's why they're happily feeding in the same area however baboons have been known to hunt impala lambs when it's a lambing season big male baboons because they do eat meat um, have been known to run down and catch uh, catch little impala lambs so yes then they are a threat but now as adults no there's no threat but you see these baboons keep chasing some of these uh, uh, these impala it was quite interesting I wonder if it's not more playful behavior than anything else. Nice interaction to end off with. Very, very nice. Hopefully this troop of baboons did not raid camp. Thankfully they haven't been around camp for a while, which is good. Oh, 
that is quite a nice little scene with these baboons and impala all walking around. Also, the impala would probably feel quite safe with the baboons around because um, they they are so alert and aware. They've got incredible eyesight. They can keep a lookout for for uh, potential predators, and they'll they will alarm call and also alert the impala. So it's actually a, a nice little system I suppose, a little symbiotic relationship they've got going there where they, they kind of help each other a little bit but the baboons would alarm call if they saw predators their eyesight is incredible. Now we're going to be finishing off soon uh, for the sunrise safari, it's been a 